Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists with me, Diana O'Carroll. This week I've been mostly hanging from the ceiling to get the best signal. Hi, I'm Andrew Hawthorne from Fayetteville, Arkansas. And my question is, why does the television signal improve when you hold the aerial? Should we make television aerials out of people? Hi, I'm Phil Clark from the Particle Physics Group at the University of Edinburgh. And essentially when you grab the aerial, you're effectively increasing the size of the aerial, and in particular your body's full of conducting electrolytes. And a good example of this would be in a laboratory if you have an oscilloscope and you look at the pickup from the mains frequency, you can see a 50 hertz signal that's just a pickup from the resonant circuits in the room. And if you hold the probe in your hand, the amplitude of the pickup increases dramatically. And the same thing happens effectively when you grab the TV aerial, you're improving the pickup and um, it's then using you to resonate within the circuit to produce the signal in the television. And the TV has to be tuned quite closely to the right frequency, but when you touch the aerial, you will improve the signal dramatically. So the other thing is when you grab onto the aerial, the connectivities between your fingers and the aerial and the tighter you squeeze onto the aerial or if your fingers are wet, then the conductivity between you and the aerial will be improved. So it often depends on how hard you squeeze the aerial. And what about the difference between analogue TV signals and digital? The digital signal effectively is a sequence of on and off bits that come down the aerial. And effectively, it'll either be receiving those or it won't. And you may, with the aerial, be able to increase the chances of it picking up the zero ones correctly. But you'd have to get it all right for it to work. This is also why you need quite a good signal for digital antennas to work correctly. So by touching an aerial, you are essentially becoming a part of the aerial itself, a big human-shaped TV aerial. Unfortunately, it won't work as well for digital signals, since they are transmitted in bits, and if one bit isn't picked up by our body, there simply won't be enough information for the TV to display a picture. On the forum, we had another point added by Graham D, who said that if an aerial is set up correctly and pointing in the right direction, then touching it should actually make the signal worse, since some aerials are specifically designed to pick up certain frequencies, while your body might pick up a range of them. That's it for picking up signals, but what about making a deposit? Hi, it's Harvin Tupol from Milford Haven here. My question this week is, how many children does the average sperm donor create? Yes, how many offspring do sperm donors generate? If you know the answer, then get in touch. You can email us, and the address is chris at thenakedscientist.com, or you can write some lovely statistics on our forum. You can find the free-for-all forum at thenakedscientist.com forward slash forum. Question of the Week is part of the Naked Scientists podcast and supported by the EPSRC, the Wellcome Trust and UK Fast. Look us up online at nakedscientists.com.